very good evening and a warm welcome to Personal Finance. I'm Kukule Tukele. Now, this is something that we are all encouraged to do, but how does one go about checking your credit score? Joining me now to answer that question and walk us through a, a physical one is uh, Salem Jafta, Manager and Consumer Education Spokesperson at TransUnion South Africa. Such a pleasure to have you with us this evening. I'm pleased to be here. F walk us through what a credit report is and uh, in summation, what kind of critical information it entails for a lot of South African consumers? So a credit report is basically information about how you manage your accounts. Um, it's your name, your surname, your personal details. We have a section in the credit report where it's your ID number, your name, your surname, your employment history, your address information, your contact numbers. And then we move into the actual account details where if a consumer has negative information, we would have defaults. And when we have defaults, the nice thing about the credit report is that it explains what a default is, mm. how long it stays, who the lender that's put the default on your name, and also how much it is, and when was it listed against your name. So this is like your financial biography, which has like powerful information, basically, which financial institutions use. Which financial institutions use. Your, your credit report is your reputation. Ah. So y how you conduct your personal debt and your finances is then reflected in your credit report. We often hear that South African consumers are encouraged to get their credit reports. Maybe let's start there. How do I actually access one, especially given the fact that uh, technology is uh, uh, the key behind it and some South Africans don't have access to such? So we have 12 credit bureaus. Mm -hmm. TransUnion being one of them. So consumers can phone in to get their credit report. They can go on the website to get the credit report. And uh, companies like TransUnion, for example, do also have a mobile app where we can get your credit report. So consumers are entitled to one free credit report every 12 months. Mm -hmm. But it is also available for purchase should you require or need it more than once. How often should it be reviewed though? Because once a year does sound fine, but I guess it depends on your financial activity then. It also depends. Sometimes a consumer gets a credit report and there are things that you need to correct uh -huh. in your credit report. Sometimes there's something you need to pay up. Sometimes there's information that's inaccurate that you need to be updated. So we do then encourage that you monitor your credit report as often as you can, especially when you have something that needs to be corrected. If the credit bureau say, we will be doing it in 20 business days or seven business days, we encourage the consumers to go back and get your credit report again. Now, for any South African consumer, you clearly you need to walk us through this because it's a lot of information that is disclosed here and sometimes we don't really understand it correctly. You touched on the personal information that is disclosed, but uh, you've got a practical example with us here at the desk. Uh, uh, the key highlights that you should look for in your credit report. Number one, most importantly, it's called the payment profile or the account history. This is how you conduct your accounts on a monthly basis. So the way it's recorded from the time you open the account, the monthly payments that you make. So the credit report does tell us that if I, as a consumer, do I pay my monthly obligations every month? Mm. So it shows month by month. Am I paying it on time? Am I paying the full amount? And that's where when credit providers need to make a decision because they look at your reputation. What kind of a payer are you? So it's very important because you then tell the lender what kind of a payer do you meet your monthly obligations as you said you would. And if you don't, that goes to defaults, I take it. Okay, so if you don't, so the payment profile then says, okay, you've skipped a month, you've skipped the second month, you've skipped the third month. Mm. Depending on the credit lending policy of the credit provider, some will take three months and then it'll go to default, some will take five months, so it all depends on the different lenders. But eventually, you do then go into default if you don't make the payments. And if you do go into default, uh, what does that reveal? Basically that uh, you've skipped payments over a certain period of time. Is this a little red flag next to your name? We can call it a red flag uh, because it simply means that you have not been paying your accounts for a certain number of months. And eventually, you, you've also ignored letters because what we do as consumers, we get letters, mm. we get the phone calls, we ignore them. And the very important thing is, 
answer those letters. Don't ignore them. Answer the phone Even call. Even if I don't have the money and I want to tell them that, look, I Even can't make the Even if you don't money. make the money, speak to the lender. Let them know. Make arrangements. Don't go hiding because that's when they assume that you're not interested in paying mm. and that's when they start taking default. So it's very important to communicate and explain to them, this is the situation, I need to make arrangements. Just as a side note, do we find that South African consumers actually do that? Uh, and maybe in extreme situations where, like we say, you don't have the money to make the payment, you get retrenched, so you might not have an income for the next couple of months. Uh, is that the first and initial starting point? Call up your credit providers, and do South Africans actually take this uh, advice to, to heed? Some, some do, but we do find that some would rather ignore that private number or that number that they don't know who it comes from or the letter. And that's why we always encourage them, don't ignore those phone calls, reply to those letters. In fact, be proactive about it because you know mm. that this month or this is the situation my financial circumstances have now changed. So be proactive about it, go to the credit providers. So to all those parents who tell their children to answer the phone and say, my mommy told you that she's I'm not, not here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's continue further with the results in the credit report. And I take it judgments. Uh, whenever yes. we hear this word, I even cringe at it. And uh, uh, fortunately, I don't have any against my name. But if you do see it flash up on your credit report, what does this tell us? So a judgment means that the lender has actually gone to court. Oh. Yes. It means that they've gone to court um, to take up what is called a judgment against your name. It stays on the report for five years. However, if you pay it up, it can get removed. When you say pay it up, in total or just a portion? So we usually say settlement. So you and the credit provider will have a settlement agreement. Mm -hmm. And the credit provider will then say they deem this as settled. And then when we get that settlement letter as the credit bureau, we then remove it from the consumer's credit profile. If it does stay there for the complete term of five years, could it impact uh, other credit applications that you might have? Definitely. Remember, like I said, this is your reputation. Yeah. So when a credit provider looks at your credit report and sees a judgment, it shows that I, as a consumer, at some point have not paid, or even at present, mm -hmm. I'm still owing. And that is why it then closes up doors for you to be extended further credit. But you mentioned that there are regulatory changes that have shortened the period that these appear for. Maybe if you could tell us more about that and how it benefits the consumer. So we have defaults that now reflect for one year on the consumer's profile. Previously, how long was it? It was two years. Mm -hmm. It was two years, now it's one year. And also, if you pay the default before the one year period lapses, it can get removed. So the credit bureaus have seven days, seven business days to remove the paid up default. And on judgments? Judgments also, before the five year period, if it's paid up, you can get it removed again seven business days. Let's continue going through the, the credit report. Uh, any, any other key considerations to look out for uh, that gets revealed there? So there's many different types of listings in the credit report. So we spoke about defaults. Yeah. We spoke about judgments. There's trace alerts as well, where a credit provider is looking for you. Um, yes, so it's called a trace alert. They, those also stay for one year. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then most importantly, the payment profile. Also, what we have in the credit report is if a consumer, let's say as a consumer, I lose my ID book. Mm. We do put an alert. When we receive an affidavit from the consumer, we do put an alert that says this report, this ID book, sorry, has been reported as lost or you suspect somebody's using your ID book oh. fraudulently, we do put a notification to say that this ID book has been reported as lost or used fraudulently, therefore do further verification to make sure that this person is who they say they are. Makes complete sense. Yes. Just to close off with quickly before we uh, wrap up to this evening's conversation, as a South African consumer, if I win the lotto tomorrow, and I have judgments against my name, I have defaults and a whole lot of other debt that actually puts me in a very bad standing with the credit bureaus. And I pay up all that money with the money that I win from the lotto. Yes. Will I be cleared completely and maybe have a better profile? Definitely. The moment you pay up and we get those confirmations that these have been paid off, we remove them. It then improves your credit score. 
it's a better reputation. We've said quite a bit and hopefully we can maintain a better reputation for our finances. But uh, Salem, if you can close up and in su summary, uh, give us a brief of uh, this evening's con 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 conversation and the key takeaway points. Very importantly, do not ignore those telephone calls. Mm. Do not ignore those letters. Get your free credit report. It is available from all the credit bureaus once every 12 months. Understand, take ownership. You have the power as the consumer. So clearly also go in for the regular checkups I take it on with your credit report, but one for free every year. Definitely. Thank you so, so much for your time today. We certainly helped in educating the South African consumers. But that's where we leave it for personal finance this evening. A big, big thank you to Salim Jafta, Manager and Consumer Education Spokesperson at TransUnion South Africa. Remember, we want to hear from you and tell us what your credit score says about you. You can tweet us any of your comments to at CNBC Africa using the hashtag finance410 or to myself at Gukumfupi on Twitter. Until next time, it's goodbye for now.